Today we're working on setting the right portal. Setting the right portal is the third activity in the types chapter. So let's get started. First let's look out the puzzles map. It looks like we need to collect all the gems uh, and by traversing through the map and uh, going across a blue and a pink portal at times. Uh, so we have a choice here. If we want to go get the gem that's directly in front of us, we'll have to turn off the portals or deactivate them, make their is active uh, Boolean property uh, false. Um, or we could actually just go ahead and take the blue portal over to the rightmost row and take care of these two gems over here first. So let's uh, try that. Uh, so to do that, we'll move forward one onto the blue portal. And that will take us over here to the rightmost uh, row. And if we move forward again, we'll pick up this top portal here. Or we'll pick up, pick up the top gem, move forward, and then we can say collect gem. And then we can turn around and go back across the portal and pick up the gem on the other side of the portal. So let's do that. Let's say turn around and move forward twice and collect that gem. Okay. Uh, now we don't have a turn around function here, so uh, let's write this like we have in the past. Uh, we'll write this up at the top of our program. Funk, turn around, and we can either turn left twice or turn right twice. Okay, so it's a good idea to uh, maybe let's run uh, let's run our program and see if that's doing what we think it should be doing before we get too far along here. Here goes Byte. He's going to take the blue portal over, and he's going to move forward. Pick up the gem, turn around, move forward. Oops. Okay, we wanted him to walk across that uh, blue portal there, so we need to make it inactive uh, first. So right after he turns around, that would be a good time to make the blue portal inactive. And we do that by uh, accessing the blue portal's instance. Remember, blue portal is an instance of the portal type, uh, which is a type that was specifically made for this activity. And it has a property. If we say dot, you can see its property is, is active. And uh, we want its is active to not be true anymore. We want it to be false. Okay, so let's try that again. Byte takes the blue portal, he moves forward collects the gem, turns around. Now the blue portal becomes inactive. We move forward twice and we collect the gem. Okay, so we're off to a good start. Now um, we're going to need to again turn around and take the blue portal back to where we came from. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. We'll say turn around. And in order to take the blue portal back, remember we need to uh, reactivate the blue portal. So uh, we can say blue portal set your property is active to now be true. And then let's move forward onto that portal. And he'll take it over to, uh, to the leftmost row again. So let's take a look at this and see what happens. Blue portal is inactive, walks across, collects this gem, turns around. We set the blue portal to active again so that when he moves forward, he'll be transported back to where he came from here. Okay, good. So um, Byte is now facing forward. Um, he has one of two choices here. We can either, again, go collect this gem, uh, the last gem on the, on the left-hand row that he's facing right now, and in order to do that, we would have to make the pink portal inactive. 
Um, but let's uh, instead, let's just take that pink portal over and take care of this gem in the center here first. So uh, if we move forward, we move forward, we will uh, jump onto the pink portal and that will transport us to the middle row where we can move forward again and collect that gem. Okay, when we collect that gem, we're going to turn around and we don't, uh, we're going to want to bring, uh, come back to where the pink portal uh, brought us from, uh, which is in the leftmost column. So after we turn around, let's move forward one more time onto the pink portal and let's see what happens now. Take the blue portal over, clean up all the gems on the rightmost row here. Make the blue portal inactive, I mean active again, so that we can transport back to the left hand side. And now we'll go move forward onto the pink portal, or we'll move to the middle row, go collect its gem, turn around, take the pink portal back. Okay, from here it's pretty easy. Um, the last gem we have is right behind us, so we just need to turn around and collect that last gem. Let's do that, turn around, collect gem, and once we do that, Byte should have solved the puzzle. So um, let's run this code. This time I'm gonna run the code though, stepping through it so we can watch the line of code highlight as Byte executes it. Also keep in mind that when we hit our turnaround function, uh, we'll leave the uh, main program here, jump up right now, and execute turn left, turn left, and then come back to where we came from. So Byte's cleaning up the right-hand side. Here comes a turnaround function. We go up and execute the turn left, turn left, and then come back down from where we came. And Byte's going to take the pink portal over, pick up the gem in this row, And around function again, forward, and all he needs to do now is turn around. Forgot to move forward before we collected that gem. So turn around, move forward, and collect gem. And <clears throat> this is a good time to point out that we can run this a little bit faster. So I'm going to go ahead and run my code the fastest to see uh, Byte finish this off. <coughs> All right, he did it. So it's a good time maybe now to look through our code and um, see if there's, this is quite a long program here, so maybe we could have optimized a little bit good way to do that is to check if we repeated any sequence of commands in here. Just like in our turnaround function, when we repeat turn left, turn left, we'd rather have that in a function. Um, so if there's any other places that we repeat code in here, we could maybe turn those into a function and uh, clean this code up a little bit. Uh, don't see a lot of, well, there are some repeated code here. Um, where we move forward, move forward, and collect gem. Move forward, move forward, and collect gem. That shows up a couple times. Uh, but really, the thing that shows up the most is just a single move forward and collect gem. That happens here, move forward and collect gem. That happens here, it happens here, and it even happens at the end here with a move forward and collect gem. And that's a nice place to abstract this idea of maybe we want a single command that says move and collect. Uh, that would be a nice one that we might use in other programs as well. That's something that Byte would do a lot. So that makes sense to try to make a function that'll do that. So func move and collect. And all that happens in a move and collect is a move forward and a collect gem. Okay, so then any time that we have that we want Byte to move forward and collect a gem all in one abstract idea, we can replace 
uh, the, 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 um, the move forward and collect gem right here with our move and collect. And down here, we do it again. Move and collect. And down here, we do it again. Move and collect. And one more time at the very end to pick up that last gem, move and collect. So it cleans up the code quite a bit. And we've written ourselves a nice little handy function for byte to move forward one and collect that we can use in future activities. So, all right. So if you were able to uh, get this one, good job, everyone. Um, I will say that, of course, there's you know more ways to do this um, than, than the version we have here. And um, I'm going to go ahead and record another video on this where uh, I'll try to go ahead and um, have Byte just um, use a function we wrote in a previous activity, the one right before here, as a matter of fact, where Byte just um, goes up and down a row uh, looking for gems and switches and uh, collects them. And maybe we can modify that kind of a looping structure to solve this puzzle as well. Right now we don't have any loops, uh, but maybe it's possible to use, um, uh, use some of those loops that we did in the past to uh, clean up this puzzle as well, to collect all the gems. So that's all for now. See you next time.